hairs on your arm to stick up, right? And he has that kind of voice. And we used to bring him in, he went around to every person, he's like, here's my number, like, I wanna play shows, I wanna play shows. And I remember he told me when I brought him in, he's like, you're like the only person that took me up on my offer. We've had him here a few times, and we always had conversations, and I'm just like, dude, like, you're gonna make it, like, someone's gonna put you on, and they're gonna hear your talent, and they're gonna, you know, they're gonna, you're gonna show people what you, that, that, that powerful voice you have. Um, so Logan Stott, featured on CTV's The Launch, he had number one single. Uh, I'm just really proud of him and all his compliments. So everybody, put your hands together for Logan Stotts, everyone. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. So my name's Logan Stotts. I'm a singer, songwriter, storyteller that hails from Six Nations, out in the Shoshone territory. tell you guys some stories.
shaking, I'm not bleeding. Slow the line, I'm slowing time down at the old gold mine, that's what they're telling me. Can you believe that's what they're selling me? Every breath that I'm not leaving Cross the lines, I'm crossing out Then at the peep show like before, you know Pretty girls, they cast a They cast a spell on me watch TV. I do every once in a while. Mostly Netflix. But there's this television show on TV called The Launch. I got to be on the show and I won the first episode. But that wasn't the biggest moment of pride for me. The biggest moment of pride for me was being able to get in front of the nation and talk about residential schools and how that's affected my family. When something touches my heart and touches my soul, I usually write a song about it. So I wrote this song about just that, and it's called Simple Man. No, 
hopes of jazz. doing the whole launch thing they told me Logan you're gonna have to sing a song in front of Shania Twain and this Scott Borchetta guy and I'm like okay and I'm thinking to myself what am I gonna sing in front of these people so I thought about it long and hard for the, for the night before the show and I decided you know what I'm gonna sing my mom's favorite song called Beautiful War, it goes like this.
And there is nobody that I'd rather hold shot and cold. The tip of your tongue, the top of your take this opportunity to uh, thank a very special friend of mine, Dan Kennedy, you know, not only for setting up this event, uh, but just supporting me from, from day one, you know, from, I used to run around and beg people to let me play, and, um, you know, he's helped me along every, every level of success and every step along the way, so thank you so much, man, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So I spent a little time down in Nashville, Tennessee. I wrote a couple songs out there, a couple mostly sad songs. Nice. This song comes with a little story, so I'm gonna tell you guys a little story, but that's all right. When I was a young man, I don't know, 16 years old, I used to sneak down the street to this coffee shop, and it was back in, back in the old days when you were allowed to smoke inside establishments. And I met this uh, elderly lady, and I befriended her. She used to, she used to throw me cigarettes every once in a while. She became one of my good friends, and uh, one day I asked her for a ride to the mall. And uh, she gave me a ride to the mall, and I was sitting in the back seat of her car. And all of a sudden, she started speaking to someone besides me in the back seat of her car, and there was clearly no one there except for this beautiful wooden box. She proceeded to tell me this is uh, my husband's ashes in this box. So at the time, being a young man, it kind of freaked me out. And I almost jumped right out of her car and headed home to mom. But uh, as I grew up into a young man, it kind of became the symbol of what true love should be, this everlasting light. And uh, I wrote a song about it down in Nashville, Tennessee. And it goes like this.
She hid behind a burning cigarette. The chip was there, matched the smile. Husband's ashes in the bed seat. Calling that box by his first name. She refused to say goodbye. Not even after fame. And I want to love like that. And I want to love that lady through the thick and through the thick. Up here, both ways. And love the used to cause the dark. Across the ocean to the store. Across the desert in the sun. And all my love left me. So that I could find your way And I'd sing your ghost this song And I'll tell you you were wrong The husband's best seat in the back seat Calling them both by his first name. She refused to say goodbye. Not even after fate. And I want to love like that. Across the ocean to the store. Across the desert in the sun. And all my lovers left me. In all
Now we shall do your day. Thank you. to see you guys from so far away. I think I'd sing a lot better if you came a little bit closer. So I write a lot of love songs that aren't so happy. songs about someone I wish I could have just never met, you know. Me. 
So if you know me and you follow me on uh, the old social media, you'll know that uh, not too long after the launch and all of my success, I needed to take a little bit of me time and I had to take away, take some time away from the music scene. Just some time to reconnect and you know, find myself a little bit because all of it was just a, a lot. And it was a blessing in many ways, but also took its toll on me. So I went away um, for a little while and put the old guitar down and stopped playing shows and got out of the media's eye. And I, uh, just took some time to reconnect and really heal myself from the inside out. And while I was away, I wrote this song, and I haven't played it in front of anybody yet. It's a brand new song. And uh, I decided I'm gonna share it with you guys uh, when I was backstage.
So in 2014, I put a record on. And uh, this is the very first song that I ever put out uh, to the world. It's uh, about a river in my hometown. And uh, it goes like this.
stories. I really appreciate all you guys being here and taking the time to listen to me do my thing and cry and whine and over a couple chords. Well, thank you for coming to Penshaw! It's a funny story. I was here at Fanshaw. I've been here a couple times um, because Danny brought me here, but uh, even before that, even before that, I was here with uh, my rock band that I used to be on, be, be with in Ghost Town Orchestra, we played on the stage, so it's a little bit weird being up here, I don't know, almost uh, five years later. Hey, weird, it's awesome. <laughs> thank you, thank you.
So when I used to play music in front of people, I used, I used to be, instead of drinking water, I would, I would normally drink beer. But I don't do that anymore. And this is a song, uh, just kind of, uh, kind of about, you know, drinking, candy. And it uh, goes like this. You're 
skin out of your wash, your clothes. Just give me some candy for I go. But down and I'll kiss your eye, lay you down the road. Just give me some candy. Just give me some candy. Thank you. Water's good too. <laughs> trying to see if anybody's sleeping out there yet. There's a couple of you in the back room, I'm sure. So I think in the history of my songwriting career, and it's been a long career, I've been playing for 15 years now, give or take. Um, I've written about a total of two happy songs. And when I'm happy, I'm usually busy being happy and I'm far away from my guitar. But every once in a while, you know, something, something strikes me and I write a happy song. And um, this one's called Ashes. She's a quiet, silent tide, more beautiful than the autumn leaves painted by the dying summer sun. Then she rids me of my apathy, drove me to a life. Makes my dreams come true like a blind man from inside. Oh, how am I supposed to see when your beauty blinds me? How am I supposed to breathe? You don't took my breath away. Oh, how am I supposed to hear when your song is in my ear? How am I supposed to miss you? But always have you here, have you near? Cause it's where you meant to ever be. And I hope that you'd stay to the end of my day, my day. La la la, la la la, la la la, la la la. la. She's a quiet, silent time, more beautiful than the autumn leaves painted by the dying summer sun. And she rids me of my apathy, throws me towards the light, makes my dream come true. Like a blind man give it side Oh, how am I supposed to see When your beauty blinds me How am I supposed to weep You don't took my breath away Oh, how am I supposed to hear When your song is in my ear How am I supposed to miss you I'll always have you here Have you near Cause it's where you're meant to ever be and I hope that you will stay to the end of my day, my day. La la la, 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 la la la. here for you guys.
Now this is a very special song for me. And it's a song that I sing. I have a little girl, a nine-year-old little girl named Riley. Riley Lyric Stotts. She's my biggest fan, my biggest, littlest fan. And sometimes when she can't sleep, I sing her, sing her music to put her to bed. And uh, this is her favorite bedtime song. So if you like what you hear, you want to take some, you want to play this music at home. I've adjusted all the settings on my SoundCloud right now, so you can go to SoundCloud.com, type in my name, and download my whole album for free. And I do that, and I give it away for free online because if you don't like it, you can't burn it. You can't burn online songs. Well, I guess you can, but not in the sense of like that, like sprinkling and gasoline and lighting it on fire. But I encourage you to take it, to, to jump on your your uh, social media, download it, and uh, listen to it. Because it's not going to be free forever. I'll probably switch it back in a couple of days. <laughs> So I'm very fortunate because I get to do this. I get to tell you guys my stories and I get to travel and go all over the place. And they always give me sour Skittles everywhere I go. I got a rider and that's like my one thing, demand to have sour Skittles. So I'm, and I'm very lucky also because I get to do this with the love of my life. I get to travel all over the world, play music. So, uh, I'm going to play her favorite song. She's somewhere out there in the darkness. I can't really see her. But uh, it's called Big City Smile. It's one of the first songs I ever wrote. Small towns every day. 
small tales to see. Paint the town with your true color. Now the moon will never be free. The sun won't shine. The desperate child come for desperate effort. The pieces of your presence break my mind. I suggest you run, I suggest you hide, cause these battles that are won lead to wars that can't be tied. In the end, we both lose our mind. Small town meter is a more release of seniors. Baby like that lives in dreams. Television screens with silent scenes. A piece of your presence break my mind. But desperate child. Call for desperate measure to be silly present to break my mind. And I live, I suggest you, I suggest you hide, cause the battles that are won lead to wars that can't be tied. In the end, we both lose our mind. Lose our mind. mind, mind. Lose our mind. We both lose our mind. mind, mind. Desperate times come for desperate matches. Please be present. Break my mind. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I got one more song for you guys. Thank you so much. And I know you're listening. I've been seated at home four. And I know you miss me. Your pride must be so. She's wearing an outfit from the room of the store. She's living a life her heart can't afford.
And I know that I'm right, but I hope that I'm wrong. She'll never love me, but she'll always love my songs. And I know that I'm right, but I hope that I'm wrong. She'll never love me, but she'll always love my songs. Thank you. 